However you want to see Lloyd Bridges, I know you will recall some uh, moment in the history of television that you will associate him with, and we want to welcome you to Montage. Well, we're, we were talking about your movies, and I asked you when you made your first movie. You said, were you honest when you said you really couldn't remember? No, I try not to keep track of time. Well, now, why is that? You look tremendous. Yeah, well, I guess so. I, my biggest problem, I guess, is that I, I, I don't... Uh, I find it difficult to, to grow old peacefully because I, I love life so much and I want to have all my, my physical uh, attributes, uh, you know, working all the time. And uh, I guess you can't whip it. You can't beat that, you know. Well, you know, George Bernard Shaw says, too bad youth is wasted on the young. That's very true. I think that's so true. And uh, I think as you grow yeah. older, you learn. But your outlook hasn't changed about life, has it? No, I don't think so. I just enjoy it a lot more, despite the polluting that's going on in the world. How did you get into show business? Uh, well, when I was about, uh, well, I guess about a year old, my, my mother uh, had me enter a, f a fattest boy contest, and I won the... I won the contest. Where was I guess that? I was always, uh, in San Francisco. My dad was a he. He owned a a Nickelodeon. Really? <laughs> in those days, and uh, she she had the idea that uh, maybe that's how I got into business because uh, she used to go and watch the shows, and I was in the uh, in the audience in a in a baby baby carriage yeah. uh, in the foyer where she watched the show. She thought maybe by osmosis or something. Uh, <laughs> well, did they push you in the show business? Your no, no, no. As a matter of fact, he wanted to push me out of it because he, he wanted me to be a, a lawyer. Uh, that's why I went, I went to UCLA, and uh, he thought I was taking a course in law, but uh, I was taking a course in dramatics all the time. Really? And he wanted. He he was very much in the hotel business, and he thought, as a lot of people do, the background is, uh, of course, a legal background, which would help. And uh, he was disappointed for quite a while that I. I didn't follow in his footsteps. That's amazing. Jimmy Stewart just told me that his father kept the hardware business going until he died at 89, thinking Jimmy thinking one day would fail back. and come back and need a job. <laughs> Seriously, he really well, felt he it. Died. He must have been very proud of his son, though, would he? He was, but I guess some, some people feel that show business is really not a career. Or, I know. You know there's a feeling that it's kind of flaky. Well, it is kind of flaky, I think, because it's not like any other profession where you, you know, law or medical profession where you, you have to... Uh, put in a certain amount of, of tough uh, uh, term of uh, you know, your life, uh, several years, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, where you really study a profession. But yeah. with our profession, a guy can come off the street and if he's got what the part uh, calls for, he can be a star overnight, yeah. which is kind of crazy. Would you say Sea Hunt was your first big uh, uh, full recognition? Of an actor. I think as far as the public was concerned, yeah. but I had done you know a lot of things in well, live TV before that. Right. Yeah. Does that bother you that that Sea Hunt is still uh, associated that you're associated with it? No, I, th I think it opened a lot of doors for me. I mean, as a result of doing uh, uh, Sea Hunt and it being very popular, uh, I was able to uh, then say do the uh, lead in a in a play in New York, you know, and, mm -hmm. uh, which I, I I couldn't get in the door before even doing a a small part. But it opened doors like that. What do you think of television these days? Well, uh, no. Let's just take a good example. I asked well, you about a series you were in, Joe Forrest, mm -hmm. which was the number one show on NBC, and you said with some rancor or some feeling that they put it against CBS's number one show, and of mm -hmm. course against All in the Family at that time, no matter what you put there. Now that seems a little crazy to me. Well, especially the fact that they preempted us four times in a row. We were mm -hmm. off a month. And then there was no publicity where we were going, and uh, so people didn't thought Joe Forrest was off the off the air. And then uh, so we were opposite All in the Family, and and not only All in the Family, but Rich Man Poor Man, which was a big success, and the Winter Olympics. Well, and, but after they passed, after they left, then we were uh, back in the top ten. But, but how, it was too late then because we. Okay, but, <clears throat> but how can the people who run television programming? say a program is not successful when, it, when it's against that kind of competition. I mean, that's nutty. Yeah, well, I think they've got something to learn as far as that's concerned, but uh, uh, I don't know anything about the, <laughs> you know, that side of it. <laughs> well, now, you, we're talking about your livelihood. Does that bother you that you're uh, uh, kind of no, a... No, as, as a matter of fact, it worked out uh, to our advantage. Um, I'm going to say my wife and I, it's our advantage because I think you be able to uh, spend more time together and, and uh, 
enjoy your life a lot more than if you have to do a TV uh, series because unfortunately they make a TV uh, series uh, uh, and then in such a short length of time uh, that it, it amazes me all the time that we see such great quality in a TV series that we do because uh, Everybody suffers, uh, and I'm sure Chad Everett, who you're going to be talking with later, will say the same thing. And a tremendous uh, a TV series like Medical Center that it had such, uh, you know, it said so many good things and uh, uh, such good quality. But everybody knocks himself out, and especially, you know, the star Chad was very, he was very uh, concerned about what the product was, and I was too, and I think anybody... Uh, no, who cares about what he's doing is, but it just doesn't, it's just too darn much. And, 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 and your weekends, everything goes toward, toward the series, you know. Really? You're getting the script in shape and... Do you ever regret uh, becoming an actor? Not no. Not becoming a lawyer or something? No, I never have. I just, I, I love it and uh, uh, don't know what I'd do if I hadn't uh, been an actor. Have you felt you've lost privacy by being an actor and well-known? Well, I think that's part of it and, uh, you know, and... Uh, doesn't bother you too much? Well, there are times, but uh, I, 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 I'm very fond of people, and, uh, and in most cases, people have, have taste in the way they uh, behave, and uh, uh, don't, for instance, you know, ask you for an autograph when you're uh, in the middle of a dinner or something like that. That can be, yeah. Uh, but in most cases, I'm very happy and uh, anxious to meet people. It's a wonderful way to, to meet strangers, I think. Already, you know them. You've been in their bedroom or yeah. wherever, you know. Yeah. They feel they know you, and I think it's a wonderful feeling. Well, it certainly has changed the face of America. Always. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure always for the better, but it's changed it nevertheless. And yeah. you've been much a part of it for a lot of years, and I don't think you should worry about your age. You look terrific. How old are you? Buddy? I don't worry about my age. I'm just concerned because people, you know, you get over 40, and people, he's getting old, you know, and it's the same thing. <laughs> with the tennis players and, and uh, uh, people in most business, not so much in, in our business and the acting profession, but uh, I guess it's because the connotation when a person says he's over 40 or over 50, they say, uh, you know, like sometimes he's over the hill. Well, I think a lot of people are just starting when they're 70, oh, 80 years sure. old. And, and, and if they keep their, their, their body and mind in good shape. Uh, uh, you are over 50, though. Yeah, and over 40, too. Over 40, and over 30, over 30. We, could, we could go down the list. You're over 10. <laughs> well, you look terrific, and we've enjoyed Thank it for you. years. Likewise. We'll continue. Thanks for being with us. Thank Lord. you. Nice being here. We'll be right back.